Island and we'll key in with the, the big big Hello and welcome to Paddling Places family. You don't park yourself. Well, okay, we are on uh, Old Lake Gavin. So Paddling Places, Florida. I'm in. Now the exact same process is used that we talked about earlier because I haven't put in the big pieces yet but for these side pocket mounts and buffers I'm doing the same kind of process so what I've done is I've uh, made the patterns got that all done now I'm gonna lift the adhesive and get ready for application I already did the uh, alcohol bath now I'm only doing a partial pullback because I want this to line because this is some pretty really really strong adhesive so you don't want to make a mistake putting it in here so I only do a little bit at a time and get it where I want, I want it because the pattern everything has got to fit into place here like that now that piece is in I'm going to pull up this other backing and let it sit in here and I'm placing it and that one is in I'm gonna take the heat gun here put it on a lower heat because I want to activate the adhesive here but not too much that it melts the rubber I just want it to get hot so it gets a good application feel here and this will deaden anything that gets inside of uh, these pockets because I put a lot of stuff in these pockets and uh, when I put it back in ouch okay that's hot enough um, Doing that to save my fingers, but I want to get all this in place. That adhesive is definitely going to be activated there. And then basically you just reinstall the screws. And I'll have this one side done. Now this is really going to deaden a lot of noise when I'm out there getting ready to do a shoot or maybe there's a, a lens in that side pocket I want to switch to and it makes so much noise that it could actually spook the wildlife I'm trying to photograph so this should deaden a lot of that I mean it won't eliminate it but it'll deaden it quite a bit Okay, so this piece is in. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this piece. And that's the pattern, what it looks like. Okay, again, I just check it, make sure I've got the correct side. I've already gave it the acid or the uh, alcohol bath. So that's ready to go. Now I just pull it up. This has been the easiest part of the whole process. But again, I definitely recommend you using the 3M adhesive backed mats. Don't try to add your own uh, rubber cement to it or whatever you're going to use because, you know, you want to be careful because you don't know if the material you're putting down can actually harm the, the kayak. I got the first piece in. I'm getting ready to strip the rest of it up. Get it all in place. Now I take the heat gun again.
I guess hot quick. Okay, and then you have gloves or whatever, just kind of make sure the adhesive sticks. This one's done. Really quick and easy project. I haven't got the rudder buffer in yet, but that won't take but a minute. And this part of that project is done. And I'll give you an example here in just a second what I'm talking about. Okay. And this is done. Now, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, you're in your boat. You want to set this down. I mean, it's a huge difference. So, when I go to use this and put things away, I mean, I can't even hear it. Before, I used to hear it bang. Now, okay, we're getting ready now to clean all this up and make application on the main foot area. All right guys, we're gonna do the final installation of the larger uh, pads or deck, deck pads. I've already got these all installed as you saw earlier. And I also put one back where the rudder sits into that groove. Cause when that comes down, it comes down with a big bang. So that should deaden that out. Also made one for the coffee. You can see right here for my coffee mug which will deaden that out. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and install these. And uh, caution, when you're working with this and a heat gun, put your heat gun on its lowest setting because this thing heats up fast, uh, depending on what type of heat gun you had. If you have a woman's hair dryer, it'll probably work better. Okay, now I'm looking at everything, making sure that I have the right ones. And what I'm gonna do now is do the alcohol clean. Now, and that one's there and that one's there. Now, what I am gonna do is start from this end and pull it this way. Because it'd be easier to place everything here than try to go from here down because it's kind of tight quarters in there. So that should work out better. First thing I wanna do is just clean up the area of where the adhesive is gonna do its thing. And then as soon as we get all done with this, I'll show you everything once it's everything's back together and we can wrap this video up. And what I do here is just to accelerate the drying process, that's all. You don't have to do that, but I do it. Plus, I can heat up the deck just a little bit, which will start activating that adhesive when it goes down. Okay, so we're gonna put the first one in. Like I said, I'm gonna start from this end and pull it back. So you just basically peel back your adhesive. And I go about halfway. Get everything lined up and then about this far. Now I'm gonna line everything up, make sure everything is exactly where I want it. Then I'm gonna pull back a little more And now I'm checking the ends here. Man, that went in like it was made for it. All right, now I take the heat gun and I'm gonna heat it up on the lower setting. And just kind of heat this up a little bit. 
Now this rubber heats up really, really fast. So be careful with it. But this is basically just to activate that adhesive. And make sure everything is good and down. All right, that piece is in. Next one. All right, here we go. Same process, about 50% down. I line up the edges of that hole like that. And just pull this back. And it should drop right into place for me. All right, same process as before. Put on a lower setting. And just to activate this rubber, get it a little bit warm. Now you could easily put a piece in here if you put your cell phone in here. I use my Scotty mount for that. So I probably won't be doing that, but I have enough left over. I might just anyway. Why not? I can see that rubber change as that heat gun hits it. All right. And they are in. So we're going to clean it up, wrap it up, and we'll be back in just a few minutes to do a complete wrap up of the project. But actually it went in real well. I'll leave a link again on the bottom where I got this uh, I think they call it diamond, diamond mesh or diamond pattern. Uh, again, it's kind of expensive, but not crazy. It's 30 bucks for a 20 by 20, but it's really durable. It's got the 3M adhesive already on the back of it. So the installation is pretty easy. The hardest part, as you could see, was making the patterns. So, hey, we'll be back in just a little while to wrap this whole thing up and do a, a final shoot of the finished product. is done let me go through here and what I did was put these pockets in on both sides then the cell phone map the foot mats are all in and then back here I put the rudder mat let me get on a better side here I put in the rudder mat to stop that bang from when I bring the rudder up so that's uh, basically the project. Sorry about my shadow guys, it's late in the day. But this project was really uh, not that difficult to do. Uh, if you've got, you know, an afternoon, um, like a good Sunday and nobody's gonna bother you. Hey, it's a good project. Cause it's gonna take a few hours if you take your time and you get those circles, which is real critical down here. You want those really round to where they look nice and they set in correctly. Same thing over here when you're uh, getting everything in. Uh, the coffee cup mount pad is in there. So I'm real pleased with the, uh, the material and how easy it was to work with. It's definitely the way to go. So let me wrap this thing up. So I'll be back in just a sec. Well, guys, there you have it. We've uh, ran through this whole... Uh, 
deck pad installation. I hope it was informative for you and showed you some cool ways to mount your own deck pad. Like I said earlier, I will put the link to the Amazon uh, purchase where I got this stuff from. Again, it's a little pricey, 30 something dollars. But looking at the, the uh, workmanship and the materials used, and I love the idea of having the, the diamond patterns in here. Uh, I think it's gonna really, really work well. Now, on my next video, uh, I wanna give you some heads up. I'm gonna be answering a lot of questions that I've got lately with regards to uh, wildlife photography, what cameras I use, what's the setup I use, do I use a tripod, what are the settings for the shoots that I do, uh, how do you get birds in flight without getting blur, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna address that. I'm gonna dedicate an entire day to showing you the setup that I use, uh, if when I use a tripod, uh, do I handheld, what lenses do I use, what cameras do I use, the whole gamut. I'm gonna lay it all out for you. Now, all the suggestions I'll be doing in this video is what works for me. It may not work for you, but it definitely works for me. Like for instance, I shoot an aperture priority. Some people shoot in manual. But when you got birds breaking, I mean like that, 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 you can't sit there and move your aperture set or your shutter speed and all this kind of stuff and your ISO all at the same time. You can't do it. It's too fast. Things happen way too fast. So anyway, I want to give it away, but I'll give you an idea of what we're going to talk about. We're going to go out into a place uh, where I know wildlife abounds and we're going to set up and, and show you how I set up uh, the tripod when I use it, the whole thing. So we'll see you on the next one. Oh, and welcome to paddling places. Yeah. <laughs> so paddling places, Florida. I'm in.